Hello, this is Special Equation Lesson 3. In this, I will discuss new types of question on this topic. First question is 1 by x plus 1 by y. This is equals to 1 by 6. I need to find the ordered pairs x, y where x and y are positive integers. Now, first task in all such question is to separate the variables. Can I say that 1 by x is equals to 1 by 6 minus 1 by y. Can I say that this is equals to 1 up 6y will be your LCM. This is y minus 6. This is 1 by x. If you reverse both the fraction, 1 by x is equals to your 1 by x is equals to y minus 6 upon 6y. What would be x? x by 1. Reverse both the in both the cases, left side and right side. This will be 6y upon y minus 6. That is the value of x. Second step is to simplify. Now, how we will simplify? Whatever is there in the denominator, y minus 6, we will make the same number in the numerator so that we can simplify. Can I say that x is equals to 6 into y minus 6 plus 6 by y minus 6? Because y minus 6 was in the denominator, I have made that expression in the numerator. If you solve, can I say this is 6 into y minus 6 plus 36 upon y minus 6? This will be equal to 6 plus 36 upon y minus 6. That will be the value of x. That is the second step. So x is equal to 6 plus 36 upon y minus 6. So this is the expression after simplification. So what we have to do first, we have to uh, separate the variable. Then the second step is whatever there in a, there is uh, whatever expression is there in the denominator, you have to make the same expression in the numerator then you will get this kind of expression now given that x and y are positive integers now my y minus 6 this y minus 6 must be completely divisible by 36 then only i will get x as a integer otherwise let's say y minus 6 is 7 then x would be 6 plus 36 by 7 and that would be fraction so my y minus 6 must be completely divisible by 36 or can I say that y minus 6 must be a factor of 36. y minus 6 must be a factor of 36. Now how many factors of 36 is? 36 is 4 into 9. Can I say this is 2 square into 3 square. Total factor is add 1 to the power 3 into 3 9. So total 9 factors are there for 36. So 9 possible values. Uh, a positive possible values of y minus 6 is there. I am just writing factors of 36. 1, 2, 3, 6, 9 and so on till 36. Same way. Now, very important thing here to observe is that negative factors will also divide 36. That will give you integer. Minus 2, minus 3, minus 6, minus 9 up to minus 36. You also need to check that. Because 36 is not only divisible by 1, it is also divisible by minus 1. Because 36 by minus, will, minus 1 will give you minus 36. At least this will give you integer. 36 by minus 2, this will give you minus 18. This is an integer. So first we will uh, solve for integer. So you have to take positive factors as well as negative factor. Now we will check which of them are valid. Now y minus 6 is 1 y minus 6 is 1 so y would be 7 now y minus 6 so y is positive we, we need that x and y must be a positive integers so y minus 6 is 1 so y would be 7 positive number no issue now y minus 6 is 1 so x would be 6 plus 36 by 1 x would be 37 valid y minus 6 2 valid y would be 8 and what would be x 6 plus 36 by 2, it will also be a positive integer. So all the values till 36 will valid. Because if you put y minus 6 as 36, then y would be 42. And what would be x? x would be 6 plus 36 by 36, that is 7. So this is valid. Both are positive integers. So the, all the 9 solutions are valid. x and y are positive integers. Now look at the negative factors also. You have to consider them also. Now y minus 6 is minus 1, y minus 6 is minus 1, uh, you can see that y would be positive that is 5 but x would be 
सिक्स प्लस थर्टी सिक्स बाय माइनस वन एक्स वुड बी नेगेटिव एक्स वुड बी माइनस थर्टी एंड दैट इज वट वी डोंट नीड सो एक्स इज माइनस वन इज नॉट वैलिड सेम वे माइनस टू विल नॉट बी वैलिड माइनस थ्री माइनस सिक्स इज ऑल्सो नॉट वैलिड बिकॉज दैट विल बिकम वाई जीरो एंड आफ्टर दैट वाई वैल्यू विल बिकम नेगेटिव सो ऑल वैल्यूज विल नॉट बी वैलिड सो ओनली नाइन सोल्यूशंस वी हैव सो हाउ टू सोल्व सच काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन वेरी सिंपल फर्स्ट यू हैव टू सेपरेट द वेरिएबल्स then whatever there is number expression is there in the denominator make that in the numerator simplify it th that you will get this kind of expression then apply the factor basics now question number 2 is very similar to question number 1 i gave you x and y are positive integers ordered pair x and y we need to find now pause the video try to solve yourself this question i am giving just for your practice so that the concept must be absolutely clear to you now first task separate the variable can i say 1 by x is equals to 1 by 12 minus 1 by y this is 12y this is y minus 12 now reverse both the fraction x would be 12y upon y minus 12 these question we can solve under 2 minutes now whatever there in the denominator make that number in the numerator y minus 12 so can i say this is 12 into y minus 12 plus 12 by y minus 12 if you multiply this will become 12 into y minus 12 plus 144 upon y minus 12. This will be equal to 12 upon 144 upon y minus 12. Now finally you will get x is equal to 12 plus 144 upon y minus 12. Now this is the simplified expression. Now 144 must be completely divisible by y minus 12. So can I say that y minus 12 must be a factor of my Of one forty four, y minus twelve must be a factor of one forty four. So how many factors of one forty four we have? One forty four is sixteen into nine. Can I say this is two power four into three square? Total factors would be how much? This is five into three fifteen factors would be there. Now we will check which of them will satisfy. Now I will just write down how many possible are there. So can I say y minus twelve could be one two three twelve. And seventy two one forty four, and it could be also minus one minus two minus three dash 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 minus twelve dash 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 minus seventy two and minus one forty four. Because negative factors will also divide one forty four. Because here I am concerned about only that one forty four should be completely divisible by y minus twelve. So minus three also divide one forty four. so that's why i am taking the negative factors also now you will check y minus 12 is 1 so y is 13 valid and x will also be positive same for 2 3 12 and 72 144 to so total 15 solution we have right now valid solutions now y minus 12 is minus 1 although y is positive but x will be negative you put this is not valid same this is not and all this will not be valid if you check that you can check at your uh, you by posing the video this will not satisfy so this is not solution so 15 solution so answer for this is 15 so answer for this is 15 solutions but if the question say that here i'm giving you uh, if the question say that x and y are integers if the question say that rather than x and y are positive integer if the question say that same question 1 by x plus 1 by y equals to 1 by 12 and x and y are just integers x and y are just integer now look at this negative value will also satisfy so same will come if you solve like this this will become again x plus x is equal to 12 plus 144 upon y minus 12 now if x and y are integers given that x and y are integers not positive integers only integers then Uh, can I say y minus twelve must be a factor? So y minus twelve can be one, two, three, twelve, up to one forty four. Y minus twelve will be minus one, minus two, minus three, minus twelve, minus one forty four. Now how many solutions will you have? Can I say that these are always valid? One as I have checked in the previous case, one, two, three, twelve, one forty four, y minus twelve. But y minus will also will also valid. Because if you put uh, y minus twelve as minus one, you will get some negative values of x, but it will be integer. Minus two will be valid, minus three will be valid, but minus twelve will not be valid. 
because y minus 12 is minus 12 then y is 0 and we know that by this expression 1 by 0 would be infinite 1 by 0 1 by y 1 by 0 would be infinite so my minus 12 will not be valid so in this case we'll have 15 solution from this side and 14 solution rest of them will be valid my after minus 12 minus let's say 16 will be valid minus 16 will be valid because minus 16 will completely divide 144 so my total answer when x and y are integer in this case would be 15 plus 15 minus 1 that is 29 so 29 solutions will be valid only solution that is y minus 12 is equals to minus 12 will not be a valid solution so answer will change according to the uh, range of x and y if x and y are positive integer in this case the answer is 15 if x and y are integers answer is 29 not 30 be careful while uh, checking the possible valid solution so that was all about this lesson in next lesson i will continue with more on special equations thank you